Hello guys, welcome to C Learning with new video. In this video, we will learn about dynamic net and NAPT network address port translation. In our previous video, we learned about a static net where we use one to one mapping, one uh, public uh, address mapped into one private address if uh, someone want to go on internet. So this PC want to go on internet, use only one public IP address which is static and assigned to this PC. So in this video, we will learn about a dynamic net where we use pool of a public IP address. We assign this pool of public IP address to this router in a network address group. So any PC come first will pick the uh, public IP address and go uh, in internet. So uh, in this case only two IP address we will assign uh, in a pool. So PC1 uh, will come first and pick this IP address and go on internet. So PC2 will come after and then they pick this IP address and go on uh, internet but uh, PC3 uh, will not able to go on internet because there is no any public IP left in this pool so that see how to configure a dynamic net first of all uh, we do some uh, general configuration so first of all we give uh, assign the IP address so first of all we give the IP address to this uh, uh, interface G001 interface gigabit ethernet so first of all we go in system view and interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 slash uh, 1 and the IP address will be 192.168.1.168.1.1 and 24 is the subnet mask and on this interface we give the IP address 2.2 2.1 sorry uh, interface G000 and the IP address will be 192.168.2.1 and 24 and now we configure rip protocol here so the command is uh, rip version 2 version 2 and the networks are 192.168.1.1.0's network and 2.0's network 2.0's network this network and this network on this router we also configure uh, first of all we go on this interface g000 system view interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 slash 0 and the IP address would be uh, 192.168.2.2 and 24 on this interface and on this interface we use public IP address because this is the border router between private network and the public network so we go on this interface G001 and give the IP address IP address 200.0.0.1 and the subnet mask is 8 ok on this uh, now we configure rip protocol here so rip 1 version 2 version 2 and networks are 192.168.2.0's network and other network is 200.0.0.0's this network uh, we also assign this IP address on this router and use this as a destination IP. So go in system view interface G00 slash 0 and the IP address will be 200.0.0.2 sorry 8 subnet mask is 8 so we assign this IP address now we configure a, a address pool a dynamic net on this router so how to make pool so go in a router go in this view and first of all create a net address group where we assign the pool of ip address address group and name that address group any number number and the start ip address the if we want to assign this pool so the start address of this pool is uh, dot 11 and the ending address is uh, dot 12 you can also uh, assign any number like a start from uh, uh, dot 112 uh, dot 50 any number so just give the start IP address of the pool so the start IP address is 200.0.0.11 and the ending address is 200.0.0.12 so we are only assigning two IP address so if you want to assign one so just uh, right here 11 ending address and starting address would be same so we want to assign uh, two IP address so we'll assign this range and just click ok so now now we uh, configure ACL 
ACL will allow any IP address from this router to go on internet. This router allow any IP address come from this side will allow to uh, go on internet. So the rule five permit source source any any IP address come on this uh, router will allow to go on internet. Now go on uh, interface this interface and uh, configure an outbound. So we go on internet uh, G00001 and give the outbound so the net outbound it means that apply net and outbound on this outbound interface and apply acl 2000 it acl 2000 uh, means it allow any source ip address to go on internet and also apply the address group one means the pool of ip address for the translation so the pool is address group one and no pad we are just uh, doing the dynamic net we are using uh, multiple uh, IP address in pool but not a uh, NAPT patting, no pad port address translation. So just uh, uh, click uh, enter. So go here, just give the RIP protocol. So it will also work properly. RIP version 2, version 2, and the network will be 200.0.0.0's network. So now go here and and ping the gateway 192.168.1.1 so this is the gateway address so now uh, ping this address ping 2.1 which is this address now we'll ping uh, this interface so ping 200.0.0.1 yes it's reachable now we'll uh, ping this uh, this destination address so now we'll ping 2.2 .2. so you can see here only two packet will be allowed because uh, this uh, pc want to go on internet uh, to want to access this so this pc uh, transmit a data so data will be uh, from public ip uh, private it convert into public ip and the public ip will go by taking this that data so only one ip will uh, allow to take one packet from this uh, device so you can see here two packets are allowed by this because there are only two ip address present these two ip address only take these two packet one by uh, above ip address and other by this ip address so if we want to check the sessions so you can also check either it's working or not display net session all so you can see here you will see so you can also ping one two two hundred dot zero dot zero dot two so you can see here data is being transmitted ping 200.0.0.1 so yes it's reachable yes this also reachable so just go here and display net session all so just wait for some second and you will observe uh, the packet were transmitted by uh, separate IP addresses public IP address one packet was transmitted by the above IP address and the second packet was will be transmitted by uh, second IP address so you can observe here on this PC2 uh, 1.3 the first packet was transmitted by a uh, this is the source IP this is the destination and the first uh, packet was transmitted by the above IP address public IP address and the second packet was transmitted by this IP address so this is the public there is no port translation so so you can observe here so there is no uh, port translation and there are total only two uh, uh, transactions uh, one is because there are maximum two uh, public ip address in a pool so only two uh, packet uh, will be uh, transmitted by using these two public ip address so you can observe here so they use these two 
public IP address to transmit. If you want to uh, configure PAT, so it will be easy for uh, this router to go on internet because it will use the port address uh, translation. So these two IP will be enough uh, because it will uh, use the port address translation to transmit the uh, data. So to configure uh, port address translation, just go on this router and undo first command. So just go in interface, interface G00, 001 and the undo command, undo net address group, sorry, net outbound, outbound 200, 2000 and the address group 1, address group 1 and sorry, does not address, okay address group 1 and the out no pet sorry no pet so undo this command and just uh, uh, apply this command only this command uh, skip this uh, command so apply here net address group sorry net outbound outbound acl 2000 and the address group 1 so if you uh, apply this command it means that uh, it uh, doing the petting also uh, in our previous command we skip uh, patting uh, now it will do the patting as well so now you can observe so this if you want to go on this destination so all the packet will be transmitted to their destination so you can see here all the packet are going to transfer so on pc2 you can also observe so all the packet are being transmitted to their destination using different port number and the two dynamic IP address are enough uh, to transmit all the packet because it's using two IP, uh, two IP address from the pool and the different port number. So you can also observe the display net session, display net session all, session all. So you will observe here. So uh, different uh, packet are mapped into different. Uh, IP address with the different port numbers to go to their destination. So just wait for some seconds. So you can observe here. Uh, this is the source uh, IP address of uh, this PC. This is the source and this is the destination which is this and uh, it use this IP address from the pool 2.11 and this use use this port number so it use the port number and also the second packet second uh, packet for the second packet uh, this was the uh, source and this was the destination and it used the same ip address from the pool and uh, use the different port number and for third packet you can observe here it used the different port number for the fourth packet it also used the different port number so the one ip address or two ip address are enough if you have the less traffic so just observe again so you can see all the data are smoothly transmitted to their destination so you will observe here so just apply that command again display net session all so you will observe that uh, this was the destination uh, uh, source ip and this was the destination and this was the uh, public IP and this was the port number for this so now you can observe this is the different source so 1.2 is the this source PC1 and the IP address is this destination IP address and the port number uh, is this 10.268 this is the different port number you can observe by different and it's only two so you can observe it's only single public IP address and different port number to transmit the data. So all the packet use only one public IP address because the one public IP address with port translation is enough to transmit data on internet. So that's how we configure uh, petting and dynamic net. If you have any questions regarding this, so you can ask in comment and please subscribe and share and uh, you can also go and watch how to configure a static net and acl in my previous videos so that's all for today's video so thank you very much